Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly or your fireside reading for February the 1st through the 10th. Your rune this week is the Burkana rune, the rune of love. Your stones are carnelian, which is warm and joyous, opens the heart, full of life force and success, and protects from personal attacks. We have our gold stone, boosts confidence, paves the way for your dreams, and brings prosperity through action. You have to work for it. It is known as the ambition stone. Then we have adventure teen, which is known as the prosperity stone. Abundance breaks the poverty mindset, helps you pursue your goals with passion, and opens the heart chakra to states of immense love. Your stone people card is spider medicine, weaving your web one strand at a time. Your spirit animal is the eagle that asks you to look at things from a higher perspective and take in the big picture. We have the peace pipe and compromise. Okay, let's see what your cards say. We have the cradle board, the ability to respond instead of reacting. Taking the time to think about your response instead of just reacting and saying whatever comes first. That's a huge problem going on right now. People reacting instead of responding. It's time to release negativity. Mm -hmm. The seer, see beyond the current situation. And that's what the eagle is also asking you to do. Really look at the big picture. Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. It's okay to say no. Vision quest, seeking and finding. Sister Moon says, don't let your past hold you back. Even the the close, you know, the near past that just this last year, don't let that hold you back. The elder says to move beyond ancestral patterns. Just because it has always been done doesn't mean that it can't be done better or differently. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. This goes along with releasing negativity. Okay? So don't waste your mind thinking of all the negative things. Use it wisely and plan a better future for yourself. The West Shield is about introspection and goals. That's about looking within, examining your goals for the future. That's what you need to be using your mind for. It is a time for healing and letting go. Ooh, the Direction Guardian asks you to choose your path forward, but to do it wisely, to really think it through, to look at the big picture. And then, oh, we have giraffe spirit. Look at, see the big picture. So we have three cards here about you really taking the time, okay, to examine what you want for the future and what are the consequences going to be, not only for you, but for others around you and not just for now but way down the line 
So you're being asked to really look at that, how it's going to affect you and everyone else. Okay, so let's place our, our stones here. And we have the rune of love. And I'm going to put that one on the seer. Or on, it's time to release negativity. That is a key point in your healing and moving forward. Okay. Then we have our carnelian, warm and joyous, full of life force. So we're going to put that one on. Don't let your past hold you back. Goldstone boosts your confidence. I'm going to put that one on introspection and goals. And then our adventure team, which is um, pursuing your goals with passion. And I'm going to put that one on the direction guardian. That is going to, whenever you switch a direction, it's going to affect the rest of your life. And that's why I said, choose your path wisely. Take the time. Okay. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.